Hey, what's going on, you guys? Hope you guys are doing well out there. My name is Polo, and today we're doing something a little different. We're checking out Eminem, and I've already heard this song before. It's probably been about 15 years or more since I've heard it, um, but probably still remember it by heart. Okay, now, Eminem gets a lot of credit for his rapping ability and his lyricism, but I don't think he gets enough credit for his versatility and uh, ability to go outside the box with music. Eminem can't sing, okay? But he sings in this song, and if you're an Eminem fan, you probably know what song this is, all right? This is Eminem Haley's song. And if song is one of my favorite songs from Eminem, to be honest with you. I haven't heard it in a long time, but out of all the songs that I've heard from Eminem, I haven't checked out his entire catalog, but I've listened to a few of his albums before, all right? This is probably at the top of the list. It's one of them, okay? So before we get into it, if you like reviews or reactions like this with Eminem, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, punch that notification bell. That lets me know to do more reactions from Eminem, all right? So be, be sure to do that. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. Yo, I can't sing. I forgot about the guitar. I feel like singing. I wanna fucking sing. Cause I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I got my baby back. Yo. What I notice about every great artist is that they have a, a level of passion about them. Even when he just starts the intro off, he says, I can't sing. I want to sing. All right. They're always passionate about everything they do. And, and he has a good degree of anger, which I think he also fueled into his lyrics and his music as well. I think it makes a great artist, whether uh, if you feel that type of emotion and you can translate it to your music. Check it out. Some days I sit staring out the window, watching this world pass me by. Sometimes I think there's nothing to live for. I almost break down and cry. And then he shows some vulnerability in the music, something you don't hear in a lot of hip hop. This is another thing I like about him. Sometimes I think I'm crazy. I'm crazy, oh so crazy. Why am I here? Am I just wasting my time? But then I see my baby. Suddenly I'm not crazy. It all makes sense when I look into her eyes. Oh no. Was that not a badass bridge or whatever that was? Uh just really powerful, okay? And mind you, you know, his singing is tolerable. It's not like he's, you know, he's not going to uh, Chris Stapleton you, you know? <laughs> but it's just as good, just as powerful, and you can feel what he feels. And now that I have a son, I'm starting to feel this song even more so. But then I see my baby Suddenly I'm not crazy It all makes sense when I look in This needs more than 22 million views. Okay, this this song gives me chills. You know, I should add it back to my playlist. You know, back when I heard the last time I heard this song, I was listening to it on a CD. All <laughs> right, probably, you know, I don't uh, whatever, you know, so uh, but I still remember it. And this is, by the way, my favorite Eminem album. Okay, but I haven't listened to many albums after this one. So there's so much music for me to get into with Eminem, but the Eminem's prior to this one, I've heard most of the songs on those. My baby girl keeps getting older. I watch her grow up with pride. People make jokes, jokes they don't understand me. Just don't see my real side I act like shit don't face me Inside it drives me crazy My insecurities could eat me alive More vulnerability 
in this music. But then I see my baby, suddenly I'm not crazy. It all makes sense when I look into her eyes. Oh no, sometimes it feels like the world's on my shoulders. Everyone's leaning on me. I'm just waiting for the verse. Tries to hit the note, I love it. Man, if I could sing, I'd keep singing this song to my daughter. If I could hit the notes, I'd blow something as long as my father did. Whoa. Show her how I feel about her. How proud I am that I got a cot. I'm a daddy. I'm so glad that a mom didn't own not Yeah, they always blur that part out. I don't know what he, he said in that. I do remember, I was like, they blur this out. And to this day, I still don't know what that was. Show her how I feel about her. How proud I am that I got a cot. I'm a daddy. I'm so glad that her mom didn't own me. Now you probably get this picture from my public persona. The dime a pistol packing drug addict who bags on his mama. But I wanna just take this time out to be perfectly honest. Cause there's a lot of shit I keep bottled that hurts deep inside of my soul. And just know that I grow colder the older I grow. This folder on my shoulder gets heavy and harder to hold. And it's loaded it's like the weight of the world. And I think my neck is breaking. Should I just give up or try to live up to these expectations? Just now look, I love my daughter more than life in itself But I got a wife that's determined to make my life live in hell But I handle it well, given the circumstances I'm down So many chances, man, it's too bad, could've had someone else But the years that I've wasted is nothing to the tears that I've tasted So here's what I'm facing, three felonies, six years of probation I've went to jail for this woman, I've been to bad for this woman I've taken bats to people's backs, been over backwards for this woman And this is why some people consider him to be the GOAT OK, you know, like he basically is pouring out his life and his heart on this track and revealing things about his personal life on this track. This is stuff that a lot of rappers don't do like no shots at Rick Ross. Rick Ross. I love Rick Ross as a rapper, but he never makes music personal about himself. He never makes any music where he's actually revealing anything about his personal life. It's all it's always this persona of just being the boss and and being the top dope boy and all of that. And I love when artists are passionate, truthful and honest in their music. Not saying that Rick Ross is not. I don't know the guy, but uh, um, I just love how. You know Eminem sat down in a studio with a pen and a pad and was going through something and was just going crazy on that pen. You know, he you, you could you can you can feel it, okay? And you can hear it in the music. And that's what I like about artists like Eminem. Man, I should have seen it coming. What I stick my penis up in. When the ripped the preen up up if I'd have seen what she was fucking but <laughs> oh my god let's add comedy to it we gotta play that back six years of probation i've went to jail for this woman i've been to bad for this woman i've taken bats to people's backs been over backwards for this woman man i should have seen it coming what i stick my penis up in when the ripped the preen up up if i'd have seen what she was fucking but <laughs> okay <laughs> one more time man i forgot that verse was in here all right don't kill me six years of probation i've went to jail for this woman i've been to bad for this woman i've taken bats to people's backs been over backwards for this this woman, man, I should have seen it coming. What I stick my penis up in when the ripped the preen up up if I'd have seen what she was fucking. But fuck it, it's over. There's no more reason to cry no more. I got my baby, baby, the only lady that I adore, Haley. So sayonara, try tomorrow. Nice to know ya. Our babies travel back to the arms of a rightful owner, and suddenly it seems like my shoulder blades have just shifted. It's like the greatest gift you can get. The weight has been lifted, and hey, now it don't feel like the world's on my shoulder. And I love how he switched it up at the end. Completely changed the mood of the song. If you don't feel good when you're listening to the song, something's wrong with your ears. Everyone's leaning on me. Cause my baby knows that her daddy's a soldier. Nothing can take her from me. Sounds not bad i tried this song is a classic though 10 out of 10 Haley, remember when i said if you ever need anything daddy will be right there guess what daddy's here 
Man, I feel old. Haley's grown now. I ain't going nowhere, baby. I love you. Man, man, there's a reason why um, all the greats have featured Eminem from Jay-Z, Biggie, you name it. Everybody has worked with this guy because they recognize the genius, okay? Um, he, in my opinion, if you don't consider him the GOAT, I think he's definitely by far the greatest lyricist of all time, and he's definitely in my top five, okay? Uh, so... You guys know how I feel about top fives. I think that, you know, whether you have Andre 3000 as your GOAT, if you have Eminem as your GOAT, if you have Nas as your GOAT or Jay, you're not wrong, okay? There's just some people, it's just whose music you resonate more with. Um, so everybody tries to say there's just one GOAT, but it's really subjective at the end of the day. But you can't have anybody like uh, Trinidad <laughs> James as your GOAT, okay? <laughs> you know, that, they have to be... Uh, you have to be able to make a case for it, basically, right? a good case for it. Uh, and I, I can make a case for every name I just I just said there. So, yeah, guys, if you like this type of reaction, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.